Feels like I've been walking for miles. There must be an exit to this cave somewhere. Ah, here we go. <laughs> At last. Finally! You've come out of the tunnel. You took some time. See, your voice has changed again. Where is it even coming from? I've tapped into your consciousness, Time Lord. You need to come and find me, Doctor. You know I've been watching you all your life, from the grumpy old man through to the energetic Dark Lord type you are today. I've seen every version of you till now, and... May I ask you something? What is with the bow tie? You look like a college professor. Each version of you wears different attire. I've noticed each persona has different tastes. I can see all of them right now. I demand to know your name. You will learn it soon enough. You need to be patient if you want to find me. You will have a difficult time doing so. You see, I am a tricky person to find. I have my ways. I can use my Sonic. Scanning for life forms. Signal jammer. And a really powerful one at that. Did you think it would be that easy just to scan and find me? You really should just quit and go home to Gallifrey. Oh, wait. You can't because you don't know where it is. Shame. If you knew enough about me, you know I'm not just any old Time Lord. I'm the oncoming storm. To the Daleks, maybe. To me, you're just a very old man with the ability to change. When you have a few wrinkles, you're no threat to me or any of my people. Oh, yes, I am a threat. And what people? This place looks like it's been deserted for years. I haven't always been here, you see. I crashed here, losing control of my ship, and I've been here ever since. All the people here have never seen anybody come before. We'll see in a spaceship, so they made me their god. Yes, Doctor, I am a god, an almighty one. I rule this place. If you're wondering where you are, the planet is called Exelor. I don't need to know your life story. All I need to know is where is my TARDIS? And then I'm going away from this godforsaken, torn apart planet. I see all of your incarnations up to present. I can't see the rest of them as they are time-locked to me, but if I had you, all I would need is your mind, your blood, and I would be able to hack into your future and rip it apart. What makes you think that I will give myself to you? I won't need you to give yourself to me. I will have someone of my army bring yourself here. It's a lot easier that way, for I'm going to disconnect from this connection now. And leave you on your own. Oh. But that's just so normal for you these days. A little advice. Why don't you find yourself a new companion? Before I came here, I was flying around in the TARDIS, and then you caught me. You crushed my TARDIS. Big mistake. Now, where are you? If I find you, you're going to wish that you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. Till the next time I tap into your thoughts. Such fire, such regret. Such torture. It looks like I'm by myself. I like it that way. Less moaning and groaning.
You are a time lord. You are our only hope. Help us. Help us defeat him. He is evil. He killed thousands of people and just laughed. There are few of us. I was his closest friend, but he cast me aside, threw me here into the darkness. That, that is terrible. He stole my TARDIS, my property, my time machine. My name is Stravan. Who do I have the pleasure of meeting? My name is a doctor. You're the doctor? I am honored to meet you in this place. You are very popular. Why? Because it's been prophesied that you're the one to defeat him. Explain. We have different images of you. Twelve faces, and they are all you. I'm number 15 on a new cycle. We have something of yours. You see, we collect things for prices, and we came across a little object of yours that you had when you were in your ninth, tenth, and briefly in your eleventh incarnation. What is it? Your sonic screwdriver. But I broke it. I was against Prisoner Zero and his guard, and I used it, and it, it broke. And I got a new one, well, quite a few times, actually. It takes over the sonics in range. Do you have the other sonic on you? Yes, it's here. We have been waiting a long time to find you and return this to you. We have fixed it. You see, we collected it after you destroyed it and repaired it. But before we could give it to you and reveal ourselves, you had gone with Miss Amelia Pond. Where is she? I change companions a lot, you know. She died. A weeping angel caught her. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you have a new companion? I haven't had one for a long time. I'm newly regenerated. I was in space for months, visiting planets, but not landing. And then I was in a vortex, and this voice came out of nowhere. Before I knew it, he took control of my TARDIS and crushed it. The prophecy says he will find something he shouldn't do in the future, and it will have severe consequences. This means you. Are you a fortune teller of some sort? I am a Dykran, a part of an ancient race of people. We are ones who man different points of the time vortex to make sure that all important people are safe. Funny. I've never heard of you. You won't have. We are very secretive. Keep ourselves scarce. Do you have the ability to pull a TARDIS out of a vortex? No, but he does, and I watched him do it. He said if I told you this, he would kill me. It's a, a risk I'm willing to take. Why don't you leave this place? It's not as easy as that. There's no way of transportation, no ships or anything. And he has put a big force field over the planet. He opened to pull you in, and then closed it again. When I finally get my TARDIS back, tell you what, I will take you away from here and drop you off on another planet where you can live. You need to get to him, and I know how. There is a tunnel that leads straight up into the big tower that he inhabits. All you need to do is find the tunnel and go through it. That sounds easy enough. Uh, the thing I didn't mention is it heavily guarded by many different beings. What have we got to work with? I have a little project of my own. I'm trying to restore a robot that he cast out. If I can get into its data banks, I can track the location of the tunnel and force it to lead us to it. What sort of robot is it? A Dalek. It seems to know you. I messed with its voice box. It sounds different. I rewired it and changed it. 
How on earth did you do that? I am a very skilled engineer. I can make anything. I've created chips out of junk. Why haven't you made something to get out of here? If the shields go down at one point, you could have escaped. I tried that. The shields turned on just as I was about to come clear of the planet. I was rebounded back and crashed. I know this is a little out of context, but how much do you actually know about me? Enough. How much is enough? Well, I know your background. Okay. I am willing to offer my services to examine your TARDIS when we get it back to see if I can fix anything and make sure it is clean of traps and dangers. Who knows what he could have done to it? That's very kind of you. I will do it in return for you taking me away from this planet. I believe we have ourselves a deal. Good. Can I see this, Dalek? Sure. This way. It's over there, in the corner. Will it know me? Most likely. I haven't wiped its memory. Can I speak to it? Yes, sure. I'm just going to go to the next ship along to see a friend. He has something for me. I will be back soon. Okay. I don't know if you'll know me. Hello. My name's the Doctor. You look very different to the last Alex I saw. We have evolved, become stronger. I was broken and left by the person who is after you. How do you know that? Because I was his master of defense. Do you happen to know where the passageway to the tower is? Yes, I know. I will take you to it after my glide function has been prepared. I'm doing that part now. I started it, but then I heard footsteps outside and looked out and saw you. Okay. I have data banks and connection to a Dalek saucer that is currently parked on the tower's roof. If I was to harm you, I would have sent a signal to the craft and told them to come and destroy you. I cannot do that. My new purpose is to aid Strand and the Doctor to destroy him like he did to me. Thank you. There we go. You should be able to glide now. Try it. Gliding function activated. Dalek, what is your name? My name is Dalek Card. Which generation of the Doctor are you? Fifteenth. Updating memory bank. Incarnations of the Doctor. How many have you seen? I have seen all your regenerations. I was there on the one of the sources in the Time War. A battle between Time Lords and Daleks. You saved Gallifrey. I have rough coordinates for Gallifrey. I guided the thirteen of them without them knowing. Why didn't you fly in and help? I couldn't. The TARDIS wouldn't let me. Fifteen Doctors in total. Many more in the future. The Time Lords have lost the Master. I met her. She is looking for you. I heard stories that she regenerated back into a man. Check in data banks for incarnations of the Master. I have uploaded all my knowledge and information into the cart's memory bank. He can access any information on demand. Let me test that. Go on. Cart, will you give me the whereabouts of Gallifrey? Incoming voice feed. You think it's that easy to find your way home, Doctor? Using my Dalek for your needs, are we? You threw him out. No. He left 
and has to come back from his service run, and now he has found you. I have sent the Dalek Saucer over the planet to your location. Silence. You have no control of me. I have changed my mind. You will be exterminated for your crimes. Give the Doctor his TARDIS back now. The Dalek Saucer is hovering outside. I could easily command it to blow the stinking piece of metal off the planet and into space. Hold. Daleks detected. There's Cybermen on this planet? There wasn't. But there is now. Aim. Fire at enemy. Are they a threat? The Doctor is detected. We have destroyed the last Dalek saucer that the Lord of this planet had. So you're not here to kill me then? I figured that one out for myself. No, we are here to help you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. He's on our side. Right, we need to figure out how to get to the tower, defeat him, and get my TARDIS back. Any ideas? Cut. How many units does he have? Hacking security cameras. He has one soldier left. What is it? A Dalek that has been upgraded. It contains Cybermen parts. He has killed the units we sent up there. He has used their parts to create a Cybermen and Dalek unit. That's new. Tell me about it. Attention, Planet Exelor. We have a problem. The rebel Time Lord known as the Doctor has arrived on the planet. The first person to find him and bring him to me will have full access to a vessel that will be allowed off this planet. So, if you want the chance to leave, bring him to me. That is all. Am I some sort of celebrity on this planet? That's bad. There is some non-human creatures on this planet, and most of them don't like you. Well, as long as they don't find us, we're going to be okay. What are we waiting for? Let's get going, then. We have a short-range teleport that could get all of us closer to the tower. Might be better if we use a stealth approach to this. We can use the tunnel entrance, I found it. Excellent. Can we get teleport to that? We need the coordinates. Transmitting to you. Received. Activating force field. <laughs> Where now? Looks like it's been covered. We can take care of that. The pathway is open once more. We also have lights. That's helpful. Seems empty. Remember, he only has one unit left. Oh yeah, I forgot. Our forces destroyed all the guards. But then the last one got them. Our system scan that there is a door up ahead. Here we are, I guess. Open sesame. It's wood. Why doesn't it work on wood? I can solve that when we return. That's if we do. Is there any other way of getting through? Let us try our way. We have a new weapon. It reduces a small, silent explosion. 
It won't be enough to rip the door off without sound. What do you say, Doctor? Do it. Excellent. Hmm. You're here now. I have no need of sending someone to capture you. I'm in the building somewhere if you can find me. He must be able to see us. Let me borrow the other Sonic I gave you. Why? There's another door up ahead. It will require two Sonics and code cracking to get it open. I installed an onboard code cracker into my new Sonic with a choice of color change for the light. Is there anything you didn't install? Although, it doesn't let me teleport. I could also sort that. Is there anything that you can't do? I'm hopeless at speaking to women. I could give you a crash course. I've seen your romances, Doctor. No thanks. Right. Let's tackle this door, shall we? Now it's code cracking time. It's a six-digit code. It's calculating the code. Sonic has cracked both codes. That's done it. We're through. Yeah. Now let's go find him. Does he actually have a name? Yeah, but he never told me it. Some of this equipment in here is old. Hang on. Why does he even need my TARDIS? He has a time machine right there. I could fix that, no problem. I'm searching the area for him. I thought there was a block signal. Not inside the tower, it isn't. You have finally arrived, Doctor, but unfortunately, you're in the wrong room. Oh dear! <laughs> you seriously need to learn better navigation skills. I fixed your navigation on your TARDIS. That might help. Unfortunately for you, I've got your TARDIS. I will happily hand it back to you on one condition. And what is that, I wonder? Did you come alone? I've set up a teleportation link with a small device that's in the blue cabinet near the computer. All you need to do is press the orange button and I will teleport you right here. What made you think I will come by myself? Your TARDIS is currently in my quarters situated above a trapdoor. Oh yes, and that trapdoor leads to the furnace. If you do not come within, let's say, one hour. I will send your TARDIS into the flames and you can watch it burn. Oh, and trust me, it will burn. I'm coming to you. I knew I could persuade you. Tell you what, I'll allow you to bring one of your friends. Not the Cyberman, they disgust me. So the Dalek or Stravan? Which will it be? Neither of them. They stay, like you said. You sure? I've changed my mind, you know, it's not often I do that. I've killed people for petty crimes. Oh, so petty. My worst one was a small gentleman that stole a loaf of bread from the kitchens. I put him in the furnace and watched him burn. I'm giving you one chance now. Surrender, or I will stop you. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. I'm almost 3,000 years old. I won't stop until the war is won. And if you hurt a single person, once more, I will destroy you without mercy. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all before, Time Lord. Now come to me. You haven't got long. Your hour starts. Now. Stay here. I will be back. I know.
That's a hard landing, isn't it? Good. I wanted it to hurt. It didn't. I finally got you here, Doctor. Now look at this for me. You need to give me back my property. Ah, Doctor, you see, that's where you are wrong. I know you stole this off your people a very, very long time ago. I see. You must be very old. They all are. What do you mean, they all are? More than one Time Lord has crashed here. I put them under the same difficulty, but they have always escaped. I had a bad one babbling about a noise in his head and another talking about you and how he wanted to find you. I think I know the one you're talking about, but the other seems like a fan. Now, Doctor, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to make it easy for you to get your TARDIS back. I have set three challenges for you. Should you complete these, I will give your TARDIS back. If you do not, let's just say gets a little hot in here. No. What do you mean, no? I will not do challenges for my TARDIS. I will take it back my own way. Finally, I get to see what you look like. Doesn't seem like you could hurt a fly. <laughs> ah, he's gone now. Thank you. Or my Sonic. Oh, there you are. It seems the Doctor saw my little upgrade to his old Sonic. You know your little teleporter. The Sonic picked up the signal and took the coordinates of both locations, just enough so the Doctor could use the Sonic as a remote for the teleport. Now we have been friends for the past year, and you have never even revealed your name. Speak it now to all of us, because I know the Doctor can hear me isn't that right? It is correct. I have the speaker turned on in the tower's front room where the doctor is. My name is Olaf. I am from the planet Oz in the constellation of Casturbarus. Doctor, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. What do we do with him? And what about his pet? Keep him there. One on Earth? What's the matter? There's something on the side of the TARDIS. It looks like a clamp device. If I don't remove it, the TARDIS won't be able to fly. Can you use the Sonic to get it off? Not likely. It's deadlocked and voice passcoded. You'll never get it off. Use the code cracker thing again. The one we used on the doors. Excellent. That's a good idea. It says speak these words. I am God for all this planet. You may have done that part, but it's still deadlock sealed. Tough luck! Straven, what does the red button on that sonic do? I haven't a clue! Well, I want to try it. Go ahead. The stuff you added to the sonic. It's disconnected. It just looks like normal again. Try it on the clamp. It worked. What on earth was that? You'll have my master captive. I'm searching the tower for where you are. I have scanned and located the doctor. But before taking revenge on him, I'll be searching for you, Stran. I can take care of him. It has been an honor serving you, Master Stran and Doctor. You will be coming back, right? Unknown. He may not have a chance against this cyber Dalek hybrid. With a combined use of cyber and Dalek weaponry, I think he will be too strong for him. There is a virus. What do you mean? It is a virus that can be formed and transmitted to cyber systems.
Can we do it? Yes, but the only problem is once the virus program has been sent, the receiver sometimes can hack the code and send the virus back. If it does, it will destroy our systems and wipe us out. Were you once human? Negative. We were formed by original cyber design and crafted. I'm sure that last time when I checked, we were enemies. This is correct. But the matter of taking care of he who has caused pain and havoc. And you wanted to stop him? We believe the best way was to aid you in doing so. Your design is different on your chest plate. Why is that? The new legion set different ranks. Soldiers are blue plated, leaders are red plated, and bounty hunters are orange plated. I am both a leader and bounty hunter. We hunt down targets and kill them for their crimes. That's very interesting. So I'm guessing he was on your list then. Correct. What type of Cybermen got destroyed? Soldier rank. Do they contain different software and code to you? Correct. So maybe. This will work. Sending the virus code and their code together will not affect you. I will prepare the virus using the equipment that is here. EXTERMINATE! Do not challenge me. Guns disabled. Guns enabled. You will surrender. I will not. Then we will use force. Who's we? You said Danica to destroy me. He failed. I have him back on our side. Doctor, you will be exterminated. You have nowhere to run, Doctor. Your TARDIS is locked to these coordinates. The force field is covering the planet. You cannot go. Guys, do you have the virus? Positive sending transmission. Exterminate. Vision impaired. He's taken care of, but I thought you was under his control. I am supreme. I do not follow orders from Daleks that are impure. I only serve my new master strand. I should think so. Now, Doctor, can you get here in your TARDIS? I do believe I have a bargain to withstand. On my way? Come on, cart. Suit yourself. Ah. Oh, well, girl. Got to be back. Seems fine. Better to be safe than sorry. There we go. Seems he hasn't messed with it. Excellent. So what do we do with him? Okay. Well, we have two choices. Take him to his planet and have him stand trial for what he has done. Or drop him off on a uninhabited planet and leave him. Leave him to me. Okay. Well, it's time to withstand my side of the bargain then. Let's find you a new home, shall we? That sounds good to me.
Oh, 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 oh,